Hi, this is Vic. Let's create a multi-level bomb by importing all the pieces from Excel. I'll show you how. Let's start with the top level assembly and here you have one that uh, I've created previously. This is just an example, so this is very simplistic. These are simple bombs now. But I'm going to uh, click import and the drop down menu is going to give me the selections to, in this case, import a bomb from spreadsheet. Now let me go and just drag the spreadsheet bomb in that I'm going to import just to give you a flavor of the uh, the Excel. Again, very simple, nothing uh, complicated. And you see that uh, the uh, attributes, part number, type, etc., started on line six. So that means it's going to just import automatically. Part number was present. You probably noticed that. I hit select file when I'm importing. I'm going to choose the pump internals because that's the first assembly I want to uh, import. I go ahead and do that and there it is. So part number, everything as it should be from the Excel. What I'm going to do now though is, and this is an important component, I'm going to change the part number of the bomb because what happens is that open bomb actually uses part numbers to create the right set of relationships between the different bill of materials, particularly in a multi-level bomb. So I went ahead and gave it a part number. I'm going to update the bomb and now you see that uh, it, I have BPI uh, 100 as the, uh, as the part number. I could have named it anything I wanted, but that's what I chose for this particular uh, simple example. I'm going to go back to the dashboard and sure enough, it'll appear right there, BPI 100. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the same process and import now another uh, spreadsheet. So I'm going to select the file. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take the externals before it was the internals. Now I have the externals. So I'm going to select the file again uh, till you can take my word for it. That particular spreadsheet was also, uh, or Excel was formatted correctly on row six, etc. I'm going to also change the part number here. Uh, let's see, BPE 200, makes sense uh, for me anyway. And so there I've now assigned uh, a part number to it. I'm going to go back to the dashboard and sure enough, there's my uh, spreadsheet. Now I'm taking this uh, for the third spreadsheet, I'm going to import a controller. Now, what I'd like for you to notice is that rather than part number, it says PN, and it starts on row eight rather than row six. Okay, so this is important because not all spreadsheets have to be formatted exactly. OpenBOM is going to help you uh, with that. So let me pull this out now, and I'm going to import that very same spreadsheet I showed you. It's basically, again, for this simplistic, it's just a controller for the pump. So I'm going to select the file. There's the controller uh, bomb. It's just a bunch of electronic components. And notice what happens when I say import. Okay, when I click import, it's going to recognize it as unformatted, but it's going to help me. So now I'm going to provide the row where the uh, attributes begin. And that was uh, row eight, if you recall. And part number was not part number, which is a default. It was PN. So I'm telling uh, the import tool that it's PN. Now I'm going to uh, go ahead and import it. And by the way, let me just pull it in. You see that it is in fact row eight and PN. Don't want you to think I'm pulling some kind of sleight of hand here. And now I'm going to go ahead and import it. And there you are. So this is the bomb. Now I'm going to go back to the uh, dashboard. There's a part number, by the way, it's not PN. Uh, it's part number now because that's the way uh, we treat all our part numbers as part number, not PN. Now, I'm going to go ahead and edit. I didn't do it before. I did it within the bomb, but this is just to show you that I could also edit the name of a bomb outside. So now it's C1000. These are the various components. Now, this is important because now I'm going to go back to the top level assembly and I'm going to add an item, right? as the part numbers representing each individual bomb. And what this is going to do, I'm going, just going to go ahead and do that. You can see that uh, 
uh, OpenBOM will actually, because we index all the part numbers, it'll actually help you uh, select, uh, there we go, select the right part number. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and say that this is important because now the relationships are being tied. You can do this in any order. There's no magic to what order you're putting these in. OpenBOM will resolve the relationships for each one of these. Now, I'm just going to ahead and continue adding a few more things that I should have added before, but I didn't. Description. Now I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Now this is where the magic happens, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Bomb View. I can go up and click the icon for entering the multi-bomb view, or I can do the, the uh, right-click and go to the open bomb multi-bomb uh, view that way. Now look at here. You see? All the bombs uh, that have the assigned part number, which were originally individual Excels, have indeed been expanded. And if I click the info panel, you can see that all the uh, attributes, or rather the part numbers and the various uh, properties are included. I have a view for them. If you'd like to learn more, www.openbomb.com. Thank you.